Given y is greater than 0, the expression square root of 3x squared times y times q root of 27x cubed y squared is equivalent to. So this question is another one of those where we have to be comfortable in converting things from radical form to exponential form and vice versa. So we're going to do just that right now. The square root here written in exponential form is something raised to the power of 1 half. So I have 3x squared y to the one half, and this is multiplied by uh, cube root is raising something to the one third power, so it's 27 x to the third y squared to the one third. Now I'm going to apply the power rule. So the power rule states that I can distribute the powers to the uh, to the powers in the terms that's inside of the parentheses that is over products here. So you notice that 3x squared and y, they are all being multiplied by one another. That 1 half will then be distributed to all the powers, to all the, um, to all the individual terms that are being multiplied. So it's 3 to the 1 half. Uh, x squared uh, to the 1 half. And then y to the 1 half. And I'm going to get rid of the parentheses here. Uh, and same thing with 27 to the 1 third. X to the 3 times 1 third. And then Y squared to the times 1 third there. And what I'm going to have now is I'm going to simplify all this. So 3 to the 1 half. Can't, we really can't work with that. And then I have x squared to the 1 half, that's just x. And then y to the 1 half, I can't really do anything with that. 27 is really 3 to the 3rd. So let me get rid of this. And I'll get back to that in a moment. And then I have x to the 3rd uh, to the 1 third. So that's just x to the 1st because 3 times 1 third is 1, and then y to the 2 thirds. And again, I'm going to further uh, reduce this. So I have 3 to the 1 half. Uh, I can combine the x's together. I have x squared. I can combine y to the 1 half and y to the 2 thirds together. So since everything is being multiplied, then according to the product rule, we have to add the exponents. So 1 half plus 2 thirds gets me 7 sixths. So y to the 7 sixths, and, um, and then I have the 3 uh, to the 3rd to the 1-3rd, that's just 3 to the 1st then. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to combine the 3 to the 1st and the 3 to the 1 half, and what I'll get there is, well, 1 is the same thing as 2 over 2, right? So when I add, so when I combine 3 to the 1 half and 3 to the 3 over 3 together, I mean 3 to the 2 over 2 together, I'm going to end up with 3 to the 3 halves, x squared, y to the 7 sixths. So this is my answer here. Let's see the answer choices, if anything like that matches. So I have 3 to the 3 halves. It looks like option... Four is my answer.